Hey what's up guys and welcome in this new tutorial where I'm gonna show you some techniques to make your tech drums hit harder. So before starting with this tutorial I want to remind you that all of the samples that we're gonna use are from our new sample pack Roomba Volume 3 which is a Latin tech house collection of one shot samples, loops, construction kit and much more. You can check it out from the link in the description below. So in this tutorial we're gonna work on the single channel as well as on the uh, entire your drum section. First of all, let's have a listen to the loop. So we have this really basic loop and this is the drum section. Okay, so the first technique uh, is uh, like the most uh, used and the most important, which is the transient shaping. So there are uh, a few plugins that are really good at this job. I like to use the one from Isotop, which is the Newton free transient shaper. And let's start by loading this one into the kick drum. So as you can see, the two main parameters that we're gonna look at are the attack and the sustain. In the Newton free, you can also select uh, between sharp, medium and smooth. And also another really interesting feature of this plugin is the fact that you can do multi-band transient shaping. So let's start with only one band and let's hear the difference. So on this kick drum it would be cool to increase a bit of the attack, however I'd rather do that only on the top frequencies, in this way we are only gonna boost the transient of the really top of this kick drum and it will uh, cut through the mix better. So we are gonna add this band here and let's solo this one. So you can really hear how now it has much more attack. Obviously we can use this transient shaper on all of the elements. Let's see for example on this loop. So here we might have a bit of a rumble here in the mid to low frequencies right here. So we're gonna reduce the sustain. So as you can hear now it sounds much more clean. Obviously we can also apply the transient shaper on the entire drum section. In this case I like to divide the spectrum in three different bands, one to control the lows, one for the mids and one for the very top. So for example on the very top I usually like to add some attack. Yeah, like this and obviously it will change from track to track. After the transient shaping, we're now we're only gonna work on the drum section for the next few techniques that we have. The next one is uh, another release technique and it's a simple parallel compression. You can do this one really easily in Ableton by selecting the drums full parallel preset. So in parallel compression, you are basically over compressing the signal and you are blending the dry signal together with the over compressed signal. So you can do this by simply introducing one compressor and then playing with the dry and wet or you can use for example a bus to do that or like there are a few ways that you can do this one however I think that the easiest one is just simply uh, using this glue compressor here in Ableton and adjusting the dry and wet so let's have a listen
okay so in terms of the setting you want to have uh, as much compression as you can so on drums uh, you usually go with a medium to fast attack medium to fast release uh, ratio can be 4 or 10 and uh, we're looking at uh, around 8 to 10 db of compression but uh, we are only using 25 percent of the wet signal and this is generally really useful also if we want to for example bypass the kick and do this processing only on the top drums as you can hear it's much more effective So now we are gonna mute this compressor and we're gonna move into the next technique. This one also is really interesting. We're gonna use a gate for this technique, in particular the fab filter Pro G, but we're gonna use this gate in a different setting, which is gonna be the upward. So we are basically doing some expansion here, which is basically the opposite of the compression. So let's have a listen. Obviously you can edit the attack and the release but as you can hear we are having a really big boost and a really big expansion especially on the kick drum here. So yeah, obviously you can do this one with every gate. However, I like the Fab Filter project most because I think the interface is uh, really, really good. Then uh, we have one last uh, tip for processing drums to make them it harder, which is clipping. So we're gonna use the standard clip. This is another really good plugin. So we're gonna turn the oversampling off for now and uh, Basically, we're gonna select the mod on Soft Clip Classic. So as you can hear now, we are basically clipping the track. However, we can reduce the output gain by the same amount of the input gain. In this way, we won't have this uh, really bad sounding and harsh type of clipping. So as you can hear we are uh, getting rid of these extra peaks by also increasing the overall volume and the loudness of the drums and obviously here you have some more uh, mode that you can choose from like we have the soft clip pro you can also apply a bit of saturation on the clipping So as you can hear, this really makes a huge difference on your drum bus and it's one of our favorite techniques to processing drums for tech house especially. And yeah, basically that's all for this tutorial on how to make your tech house drums hit harder. Don't forget to check out Roomba Volume 3 from the link in the description below. Let us know what tutorials would you like to see next and I'll see you soon. Bye.